Hello Leos, Lions and Lionesses. So let's do your weekly reading from the 2nd till the 8th of March, which is the following weekend. So we're going to ask what it is you're going to be dealing with, what type of energies are coming towards you. Also, we're going to ask about your significant other, your love interest, your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. And we're going to see what's going on with their life and how they're relating to you. So universe, please step in, show very important messages collectively for the sign of Leo. What is happening in Leo's life this coming week and following weekend? Let's see what's going on with Leo. That Leo should be aware of. Seven of Cups. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, wow, so Leo, I'm not surprised to see this card in the first position, because Leo people are very char charismatic, very uh, popular, um, the Seven of Cups in the first position shows that you have a lot of admirers, people, a lot of people that find you beautiful or handsome, uh, charismatic, um, popular, attractive, but you have an eye on one person specifically that you're not in touch with, that you miss very much, that you love, that you would like to offer romance to, um, or some kind of emotional gesture. This shows you have a lot of people that are interested in you. Um, yeah, uh, Leo, Leo sign is one of the most faithful signs, actually. Um, as I, I, I can see that easily from the readings, Leo people are uh, the most faithful. I'm not saying all Leos are faithful. No, every sign has negative and positive but from what I see, Leo people are the most faithful people and, and they picky, um, which is good. You got to be picky. Um, but here you showing up here that you're not really paying attention to all this running around you. You thinking of one specific person that you miss very much that you love, whether they male or female. Let's see more universe please step in show us more clarification what is going on in leo's life that leo should know about any advice also judgment so you would like the reason why you most of the uh most of you the reason why you're not even looking at other people who you know are interested in you uh, is because you want to reconcile with this person that you miss very dearly and that you love. Yeah, this is beautiful. I love this. So you're waiting to see if they either reach out or if they respond or if they extend an olive branch. So you've been checking up on this person. You've been checking up on them. Keeping tabs on them to see how they're doing. Yeah. You are worried, Leo, that uh, some, that this is not going to work out. You're worried excessively. You worry too much. This also shows that um, you've made some mistakes and you have regrets about it. But remember, Leo, we all make, make mistakes. Every single person on this planet makes mistakes so don't be so harsh on yourself okay we all make mistakes and as long as we learn from them it's all good uh, it's not doomed so let's see let's see more clarification universe please clarify these energies for the sign of leo please Yeah, so you have the Knight of Cups twice. You want to reconcile 
and offer some kind of uh, emotional gesture to this person. Romance, love. Yeah, you're not done with this person. So it looks like you guys will reconnect. Here's the Wheel of Fortune. Here's your beautiful energy here. A lion holding the sword of truth. Um, this person may be at a distance from you. Yeah, this person is at a distance from you. Could be different town, state, different country even. This means you have unfinished business uh, from past lives with this person so you know this person from past lives and um it was fated for you to meet you were supposed to meet this individual but remember because you have a free will just like they do what happens with the, all of your relationships mostly depends on what actions you decide to take towards each other yeah, so you want to offer something solid to the person. This also means that you may be interested in somebody who is an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, or somebody who is very good with money, business, stable, grounded. Yeah, so it's like you're going through internal battles, you're going through internal battles, um, whether you should contact them or not. You want to contact them, but you're worried how they will receive you. Wow. So, this is beautiful. So, Leo, you're very popular. You're very popular with people. People admire you. People look up to you. Let's see how they are. The person that you showed up here as Queen of Cups, whoever it is you're thinking of or watching this video, whether they male or female, no matter what sign they are. Universe, please step in, show very important messages collectively for the sign of Leo. What is happening in soulmate's life? What are they dealing with? And how are they relating towards Leo? emperor four of wands wow this is beautiful for, yeah there is silence between you two silent treatment um usually i don't like this energy but it's surrounded with good card over here four of wands so this person whether they male or female this person is very strong um most likely they either own their own business or they are in some high position somewhere in charge of other important people. This is, uh, this is somebody strong, um, admired by a lot of people, respected by a lot of people, in charge. So this person... Um, no matter what sign they are, but usually Emperor represents uh, Aries. This also represents other fire signs. Here's Pisces energy. So they are currently going within, doing some soul searching while they are in silence, uh, while they are not communicating. But they see you like a lifetime commitment they would like with you. This is beautiful, like marriage, serious commitment. Let's see clarification. So they also worry, just like you are, how this is going to work out. So both of you care for each other, otherwise you wouldn't have this um, energy. Both of you care about each other. Um, this shows here with the emperor in this that they may have said some harsh words to you that they deeply regret. Maybe they said it in a time of anger or disappointment, uh, but they regret it. Um, yeah, they said it in the heat of a moment. They didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah, Ten of Swords. So this person is missing you. They worried also. This also means all these swords mean uh, problems with communication. 
Some of you are dealing with the very strong Virgo energy. So here's Virgo, Hermit, the world. So they are at a distance from you, whether it's different town, uh, county, state, or even country. This person loves you, but they never told you they love you. No matter what sign or what gender they are, this person loves you. They never told you they love you. Yeah, that's why they worry so much, because they feel like they lost you. So you're dealing with somebody who has very high standards, uh, is very picky about people, is very particular about what kind of people they allow into their life. Very picky and this person loves you a lot. So obviously, you must have something good going with yourself that they choosing you. They think of you that highly. Uh, this person is, especially if it's a Virgo, because here is a Virgo energy, hermit, above it, queen of wands. Whether they male or female, this person is, no matter what sign they are, um, is very elegant, um picky, attractive, uh, very good at business. Wow. So they see you as their equal. Yeah, they see you as their equal. Here we have Emperor, Empress, Queen of Wands, King of Wands, and the Four of Wands. So they see you as their equal. So this person is in love with you. They have not expressed it to you. And they see you as their equal. Damn. So they waiting around. They not able to release you. No, they not. Even for those of them who cut you off and told you goodbye, they're not able to release you from their heart because they love you. So they realize what they feel for you is real. So we're gonna go into the extended read. We're gonna ask how they what their intentions are and their plans for you. Anything they may be hiding, withholding from you that the universe feels you should be aware of at this time for your highest good and based on on those energies we're going to ask advice for you from the universe and your guides on what best actions to take for yourself um so leos thank you for everything and watching click on the extended read below this video in the description box below i'll see you there of you guys